All right, in this video, we will be looking at port mapping, also known as port forwarding or network address translation. So to do this, uh, to do port forwarding, first of all, you need a public IP address. Uh, sometimes your ISP is only giving you a private IP address, so you will not be able to use port forwarding and host any public internet services on your uh, local network. But if you do have a public IP address, you can use port mapping to set up all kinds of web services. Uh, for example, you might have a uh, gaming PC and you might want to host a Minecraft server or Valheim server or uh, whatever, so that your friends can uh, connect and uh, specify the public IP address of your router. And then the router will see these incoming connections and forward them according to where your PC is located inside, inside your home network. Because, of course, the um, people on the internet, they don't, they don't know anything about your local uh, network. So the router does know where your PC is, and if you con configure your port mapping accordingly, uh, the router will send the specific connections that are uh, uh, meant only for the specific, uh, say, Minecraft port. It will forward them exactly to the PC where your Minecraft server is running. Um, to set it up, there are two ways. You can do it the normal way through the uh, IP firewall NAT menu, or you can now also use QuickSet. And in QuickSet, there is a button called Port Mapping. Uh, if you click on the Port Mapping button, you will see a, uh, some rules. Normally, it's empty. So let's just delete this rule and add a new one. So let's add the rule. Uh, in my example, I had a gaming PC somewhere in my network, so let's use the same example. So type example, Minecraft server. And let's say this Minecraft server uses TCP port 12345. And so here you need to specify where the Minecraft server is located in your network. So the local IP address of your uh, gaming PC. Uh, since I'm using the standard Mikrotik uh, uh, network, so I have 192.168.88. Um, and my PC address is 99. And here you must enter the port on the Minecraft server on the PC itself. So normally these two values are the same. Unless you have multiple PCs in your network and you want to uh, separate somehow, maybe one server server is using one port and the other one is using a different port, so you could separate them out. But uh, since I only have, in my example, one PC, it's the same port. So let's add the rule here. And as you can see, in the port mapping window here in QuickSet, I have only one rule. And uh, well, it should be doing its thing already. But if you go, if you want to dig deeper and see uh, how it actually works behind the scenes, uh, or you just simply want to learn the full power of router OS, but you can go into the IP firewall menu. And in the IP firewall menu, go to the second tab, it's called NAT. NAT means network address translation. And while we do call it uh, port mapping or port forwarding in, in normally, actually the full name is network address translation. And in, in this case, when we are forwarding the connection to something in, inside our network, it's called destination NAT. So here in the, in the list, you can see that the last entry is uh, my example that I added from QuickSet. But it's rule number 23. There's actually all kinds of rules here. Uh, if you open it up, you can see what uh, what rule was created from QuickSet. So first we see chain, DSD NAT. That's the group of rules where the rule was placed. And uh, to function as a destination NAT rule, we need it in the destination NAT chain. To learn about chains and uh, how or how firewall works, we have a separate video. I suggest you watch that as well. Here you can see protocol and port just as I specified there, but there's all kinds of other settings available. And I will not be going through all these settings here in this video. The, there are multiple tabs with all kinds of interesting settings available. I suggest you go into our documentation page and go to help.microtech.com slash docs. And here uh, uh, in the left-hand side menu, under firewall, you see NAT. And here you can learn everything there is about each and uh, every one of those settings. Or I can suggest you attend a Microtech training class. And there, a teacher will explain it to you. 
So back to our firewall. In the NAT rule, so in the general uh, tab here in our rule, we specified uh, which protocol and port will be used uh, when 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 the router sees the co connection coming in, and when he see, when the router sees this connection, the action tab is where we set up what we we will do with this connection, and and what we will actually do is. Uh, action is destination net, so we will be forwarding it to some other uh, device in in our network, and the address of this PC is uh, here, and this is the two port. If you don't specify the two ports, it will just use the same as you specified in the in, in the first uh, in the general tab. So it's it's not mandatory; you can just skip it. Uh, all right. So what else do we have here? In this window, you can see all the other destination rules that I have set up manually not from Quickset. So this is actually one of the reasons why I suggest you to, um, as a beginner, you can start with Quickset, learn all the things that are in Quickset. Uh, you can use port mapping here, it's fine, but if you want to learn more and you start to explore all the uh, full menus and full functionality of RouterOS, then just stay here and uh, and don't, don't go switching back and forth between Quickset and the advanced uh, menus it will be simply easier to understand everything and uh, uh, if you don't uh, go back and forth between Quickset and the other menus. Also, my personal suggestion, use Winbox when you set up your router. Uh, Winbox is more easier to understand. There, uh, you can set up windows next to each other, you can see uh, tabs, you don't have to scroll around. So uh, instead of using the web interface, uh, try Winbox. And Winbox is also, um, you can run it uh, on uh, Linux and Mac OS if you use Wine. And uh, well, hopefully in future we'll also have it uh, as a native application, but for now, it works perfectly fine with Wine, uh, including in uh, M1 Max and uh, all the latest macOS versions. So uh, here you can see what else we have uh, in the net window. We have all kinds of UPnP rules. UPnP is a, a function that you can enable here in Quickset as well. Um, here is a checkbox called UPnP. Maybe you have some kind of program that uh, supports UPnP. Th that program can then, if you checked it in Quickset, it can automatically create these destination net rules. And uh, maybe there's all kinds of ports that it uses so that you don't have to enter each and every rule manually by hand. Uh, you can enable UPnP in that, in that program in the router, and the router will allow this program to create these uh, net rules automatically. So here uh, I have some, some media server and it has created some rules here, as you can see. Uh, and uh, another tip for you, if you are not sure if the rule is functioning correctly and you, for example, uh, your friend is connecting to your Minecraft server and it's not functioning correctly and it, he just can't connect, so you want to see which part of your setup is to blame, you can go into your uh, firewall NAT and scroll down to your rule that is uh, that applies to this sp specific service and in the last two columns you will see uh, bytes and packets and uh, if these numbers are above zero if they're increasing it means that the connections are coming in the router sees these connections and it's forwarding them to the address you specified so it means that at least the connections are coming in so that that is functioning and the rule is doing something that is also working. So then you can focus on other uh, other potential causes of your issue. For example, did you specify the correct uh, the correct uh, IP address uh, in the in the action? Maybe you specified the an incorrect port, or maybe your Windows PC is uh, maybe there is some kind of firewall or uh, antivirus software which is uh, preventing the connections from um, uh, happening. So um, this is a great way to see if the rule itself is, is, is working as it was set up as so. Uh, all right, uh, but of course, remember, you do need a public IP address, and uh, if, you, if you don't, then you'll need to talk to your ISP uh, about getting a public IP address, because without a public IP, you cannot host uh, services um, and, and uh, the people from the other networks will not be able to connect to your services. Okay, 
This is a very short video about NAT. I hope you enjoyed it. For more information, read our manual, attend our training classes, and uh, I, I hope it all works out for you. Good luck.